Uh, hello guys and welcome to the second video of uh, our app animation. So in the first part of this video uh, we have uh, animated the first screen as you can see here. And uh, in this video we're going to animate the second screen. So um, I have already set up here uh, when we click uh, login button it should lead us to a second scene. So now let's uh, go to a second screen or a second scene. Okay, select from this drop down menu here. Okay, and now I have already uh, implemented this uh, start trigger, so um, we will start animations on application start or when this second screen opens. Okay, so the first element uh, which we are going to animate is a back button, so we're going to copy its original uh, X and Y position and uh, we're going to use move response for this for this purpose. So let's first rename uh, this container uh, to back arrow, so it will be easier to for us to recognize it. And then uh, select our arrow container and uh, copy the Y position and paste here. Uh, duration will set to 0.5 for now. It should work. Okay, and. Uh, now we're going to change uh, the back arrow original position to the right side out of the scope of our screen okay as you can see it's moving from the right to left uh, i think uh, it might be better for us to uh, to set this uh, back arrow on the top and not on the right so i'll try to do that now i'll move this arrow on the top just about and outside of the screen okay and now i think now it's better animation when uh, it comes from the top okay uh, the next animation will be for our login to your account text and for this uh, text we're going to use uh, opacity uh, animation response and uh, for our remember me uh, here text we're also going to use opacity uh, animation response and uh, we're going to. I have already set uh, initial values to zero for opacity of those two elements. Uh, and for our uh, switch button, or how it's called, whatever, uh, we're going to um, copy this uh, green color first from the, our from our Adobe XD project design. Okay, I will copy that. And uh, instead of this green. Uh, background i will delete that and i will create a new rectangle here because uh, our initial value uh, or initial value of this element will be gray gray color so uh, we will replace that with the green color at first but then with our animation we're going to change the color from uh, from gray to green you'll see so i'll set the radius to full radius here okay and I'll delete this green. All right. Um, so the next thing we are going to do, we are going to group those two elements. Th this circle and this uh, little uh, rectangle with full radius. All right. And now I'm going to group uh, those two fields, this text and this first field, and name it uh, field one. So it will be easier for us to recognize this element. And I'll do that the same for our second field. I'll select those two arrows, uh, those two uh, elements as well, but I'll do that later. So the second uh, uh, animation response will be opacity. I'll set duration to 0.5 and uh, opacity to 100%. Okay, that will be for our uh, login to your account text. And I'll change to 0.7. Okay, as you can see. It's a, li a little bit better animation now. And uh, now I'll copy the field 1 X and Y positions. And I'll paste those positions uh, in our move uh, response animation. Okay. Now paste it here. And now we're going to move this uh, field 1 on the left side of the screen. Okay. Select this container, field 1, and move it by holding the shift okay as you can see uh, we can change a little bit uh, 
maybe uh, duration or something, we'll see now. But let's first uh, change duration to 0 0.7. And it looks better, I think it's, it's good now. Okay, now let's select uh, those two, uh, the second field and this password input. And let's group those two elements as well. Uh, we are going to name those two uh, field 2. Okay, and now let's create another animation response here uh, for field 2. And we're going to copy its initial values, x and y position, into our uh, animation response. Okay, uh, just a sec. Okay, this is field 2. I have selected field 2 and copy here. And the second y value is for 7, 7. Okay, and now let's move this uh, the second field of uh, on the right side. Okay, we are going to change the duration for this to 0 0.7 as well. Okay, and uh, I might change this uh, animation. It will be is in and out, but uh, maybe quint. Um, or maybe not. Let's ch uh, let's change again. Let's try different uh, animations here to see which one fits uh, the most for our application. They are they are all good, but uh, you know, uh, for every for every purpose, there are different animations which will fit perfectly to your to your uh, imagination as you wish. Okay, so. Um, the next thing we are going to uh, use uh, opacity animation response for our remember me text and we are going to set opacity to 100 the duration 0.7 as well okay now that we have that uh, we are going to proceed with uh, this animation for uh, turning on and off for our uh, button here for remember me so uh, first uh, I'm going to use uh, opacity to 100 for uh, for this. So uh, this will be hidden at first, but then when the screen starts, it will show up uh, like the remember me text. And now we're going to animate uh, forgot password text here with opacity as well. So we're going to set opacity to 100 and to 0 0.7 duration. As you can see here, it looks fine for now. And uh, the last thing we need to animate here before we set the tap trigger is a login button. So uh, we'll set move animation response here for our login button. And we're going to set the uh, initial uh, position 72 and 615. Okay, duration 0 0.7. And now we're going to move our login button on uh, down, down below. Oh, sorry. I need to select uh, this container to move all those elements. Text in the button. Okay. And uh, I think we should change uh, forgot password uh, opacity duration because it overlaps with our button. So maybe zero, uh, 1.2 or... Um, hmm. I think it uh, works better uh, 1.5 I think because it will not overlap with our login button okay now it's better uh, we have created that and uh, uh, and I think we should proceed with our trigger which is tap trigger and we're going to set uh, tap trigger for our um, container one which is on and off uh, switch here for remember me so the first animation response will be color and uh, this color will be set for the rectangle 9, which this is an uh, exact rectangle, uh, rectangle which we created earlier. So uh, it's in the container 1 group. And now we're going to copy this green color again and uh, use it here to fill that color. Okay, and when we tap on that, it will change the color. So we need to work a little bit uh, on that. I like the duration maybe and uh, okay now we're going to copy the initial circle uh, 
position x and y and uh, in this step uh, trigger we, sh we should set uh, move response here for our ellipse 1 this is our uh, white circle duration should be 0 0.3 and now uh, we should move this circle it's hidden now we, uh, you can set opacity to 100 but I'll move it uh, on my own on the left a little bit okay and when we click that container as you can see here it will move on the right and uh, it will change the color I think it's uh, it's good now okay it looks fine and uh, we should add one more trigger tap trigger for uh, the back button so when we click uh, uh, okay it's not for login button but for a back button instead or back arrow if you wish so when we click back arrow it should lead us to a first scene or first screen and this uh, will be uh, to complete our uh, animation so let's add back arrow instead of login button okay and uh, a response trigger will be a jump so we're going to jump from uh, animation 2 to animation 1 uh, slide out animation bottom to top or top to bottom now delay hmm, maybe you can set delay to 0 0.2 for example and select the scene one okay now it looks fine when I click remember and when I click back it should lead us to our first screen but when we click first it will not run the animation because uh, it's already ran so we need to uh, play again this animation so we need to play again okay and now it will run the same okay it looks fine so we can start animation from the first screen and as you can see it looks much much better uh, thank you for watching guys um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed uh, and if you find it helpful please like this video and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already uh, thank you for watching again and uh, see you in the next video